Black and Jewish leaders built a strong alliance during the civil rights movement, but that historic relationship is now strained. Now Diller University is trying to take a leading role to repair black Jewish relations. David Hammer explains. As Dr. Martin Luther King's lawyer and draft speechwriter, Dr. Clarence Jones was always struck by how many Jews were part of the civil rights movement. While they played due respect and honor to Dr. King, they, uh, uh, they wanted to be sure that I knew that they were doing this in tribute to what they believed their grandparents would want them to do. Jones is passionate about the special black Jewish alliance. The enactment of the 1964 and 1965 civil rights bills would not have been possible without the active support of the Jewish community. It would not have been possible. Now, a documentary film, Shared Legacies, highlights that alliance, embodied by Rabbi Joachim Prince, a Holocaust survivor who spoke out for black people's rights at the 1963 March on Washington. The most shameful and the most tragic problem is silence. The film also shows how silence and mistrust has plagued the relationship in recent decades. Dillard University in New Orleans tried to break that silence by establishing the National Center on Black Jewish Relations in 1989. But the center stopped operating, and recently high profile African Americans, like the rapper formerly known as Kanye West and NBA star Kyrie Irving, have spread anti Jewish hate based in part on white supremacist conspiracy theories. See, when someone Kanye West and other people say that, I look at it differently. I look at it this way. It's, it's self-negation. It's also a denigration of, of, of themselves. Jones said black leaders need to speak out like Jewish leaders did for them in the civil rights era. If I remain silent in the face of something that is so obvious and I don't say anything, then the only way I can say is I'm complicit. Dillard President Dr. Rochelle Ford says now is the time to revitalize the Center on Black Jewish Relations. Dillard has to lean into this conversation and bringing our communities together because there's too much at stake right here in New Orleans not to act courageously and to tackle tough issues but not just to have conversations, but to take those conversations into action and to create projects where the black communities and the Jewish communities can come together and to help address things that are really plaguing our city. Dillard senior Jerrica Edwards says she's already inspired. Kanye and Kyrie have brought like a lot of awareness and attention to it, but obviously it hasn't been positive attention. So I think um, restarting the center would be something really impactful and powerful for not only like Diller students, but the entire community of New Orleans. Rabbi Katie Bowman of Turo Synagogue says the renewed dialogue is critical. So it is even more urgent now than maybe it ever was before that we form strong relationships. So that's the only antidote to that kind of hate is to say, actually, I, I know that community. I know that person. They're my sibling. They're my friend. And at 92, Jones is encouraged. I can say without fear of contradiction, then I can speak authentically that this is exactly the kind of leadership that Dr. King would want a university, particularly a black historically, black institution to take. He would be so proud of what Dillard is doing. Proud of what Dillard is doing to break a painful silence yet again. Reporting from Dillard University in New Orleans, David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Dr. Ford says a small group is meeting to set up a new mission for the National Center on Black-Jewish Relations. They hope to announce community projects soon.